Hey everyone, it's Heather with Tiller here, and today we're going to be talking about import range. We've covered this topic before, but we had some customers who asked us how they could use a single sheet and have their categories transfer into other sheets. And so we realized a way we could do this was import range. So in this scenario, we want to use, I'm going to be using Heather's budget as my master sheet where I'll update my categories, categorize transactions, and that'll be the sheet that Tiller actually feeds the data into. And then I like the reports and charts that are included in the weekly expense tracker. So I want to see the categorized data there, but I don't want to have to categorize my transactions in two places because that basically doubles the amount of work that I have to do. So we can accomplish this really easily with import range, which is a built-in formula in Google Sheets. It's really powerful and this is pretty simple to set up. So you can follow along in this video to get that set up if this is something you'd be interested in using. So the first thing that we're going to do is I've created this weekly expense tracker template. I also have my budget template created here. I'm going to unlink the weekly expense tracker from my Tiller console. Before I do that, I'm going to open it. I can always find this sheet in my Google Drive after I unlink it. We, we don't delete your sheets. They're stored in your Google Drive when you unlink them. So I'll click unlink this sheet. Go ahead and unlink it. It's already open here, so I have it. I'm then going to open up my budget template. And then the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to prep this weekly expense tracker template for the import range because this we're going to pull the data, the transactions data, the category data, and the balance history data from my tiller budget into my weekly expense tracker. So to do that, first we're going to set up a sheet called config. And I can easily hide this sheet after I've set it up by just right clicking and then choosing hide. But essentially all this is doing is going to be a placeholder for the URL for my budget template. So I'm going to grab this URL. I only need to the end of this, or you can grab the whole thing either way. And then I'll just paste it right in there. And then from there, I'm just going to go ahead and hide the sheet because I really don't want to see it. If I want to unhide it, I can just click on this menu in the bottom right and then choose to unhide it from there. The next piece is to import the transactions. So I'm going to select all the data in the transaction sheet by using this handy little square in the upper left corner. And then I'll just hit the delete key and then it wipes out everything because I want to import the data from my tiller budget template. I'm also going to remove the validation from column C just because it will be a lot cleaner looking. So I can go into the data menu, choose data validation after selecting column C and then choose remove validation. So now we don't have the drop down capability anymore. We don't really need that because we won't be categorizing directly in the sheet. So now we're going to use these handy um, formulas that we are in the blog post that corresponds to this video and you can just paste these in. So for the transactions, I'm going to use this first formula and paste it into cell A1. Press enter a couple times. It's going to give me this ref error letting me know that I need to connect these sheets. So I'll click allow access and then we'll see my transaction data filter in. Now, isn't that awesome? See, all my categorized transactions are already in here. These are the, the categories that I have assigned over here in the transaction sheet. Awesome, so that's step one. Okay, step two is then to get the categories set up here. Now, the categories set up between the tiller budget and the weekly expense tracker are slightly different, but that's no big deal. We can totally just bring in our categories using another import range formula. So I'm going to select column A, and then I'm just going to wipe out everything that's there in my weekly expense tracker. I'm going to go back over to my handy dandy copy paste formulas, which are in the blog post, paste the, paste the one that's going to pull in my categories into cell A1 again, and then it already has the access because of the other ones. So now I can see all my categories are here in column A. The final step is to bring over my balance history because I want to make sure that my balances are reflected here on the balances dashboard. So I'll do the same thing. I'll select all the data. I'll delete it. Use my handy dandy formulas to copy paste. Copy and paste that into cell A1. Press enter a couple times and then it's pulling it. It's pulling in the data. So just make sure that when you're on, you know, when you're performing these actions that the balances that you and the accounts, the transactions that you 
um, want to see in this weekly expense tracker sheet are going to be the same ones that are linked in your budget template or whatever other one is going to be your master data source. If you want to use different accounts um, across the different templates, then it's probably better to just use connected Tiller templates from the Tiller console and then manage the accounts that way rather than trying to use, there probably are ways to do it with queries, but we're not going to cover that in this video specifically. Maybe, maybe in a future blog post, in a future video, we'll show you how to filter out some of the um, accounts that you don't want to see in that imported um, data into another sheet. But those are the basics of it. Um, one thing to point out in the data that's being, the sheet where the data is being imported from the import range formulas is that any of your manual account balances, you'll need to continue updating those in the sheet itself, since those don't have a balance history entry right now, they won't be imported um, from the master data sheet. So those are the basics of using import range so that you can use multiple templates and only have one place to categorize your transactions and update your categories. Like if I wanna just go ahead and um, say, okay, mark those as GIFs, I should see that update here. Yep, there's GIFs. And that's really it. Happy tracking.